Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. And if you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do BoxyCharm unboxings every single month, every time I get my box. So today is BoxyCharm day. And I'm kind of mad at myself because I may have spoiled it for myself. And I say may have because when BoxyCharm sent me the shipping email, they actually sent me the virtual card inside that email saying click here to view your card the willpower to not click that link guys. I'm a Libra, I had to click it. And when I saw the virtual card, I was immediately disappointed. Um, but I put into a Facebook group for BoxyCharm and some people said most of the time their virtual cards are wrong. So I still have a little teensy bit of hope, hoping that that card was not my box because every single item except one item was all old products. So I'm really, really trying to be optimistic. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the suspense over with. Let's open this thing. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Why? You know what? It's okay to be optimistic, but you guys, this is the same as the virtual card. So I am a little disappointed, but as the last couple boxes have sucked for me and a lot of people, majority of the people who got BoxyCharm boxes the last few months, I am trying to stay optimistic because of COVID and all the shipping regulations and social distancing protocols. Yada, 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 right? Okay, let's start with the one item that was actually a choice for BoxyCharm for June's box because all of these other products were from previous boxes. So the first item was the actual choice that I chose for June's BoxyCharm box. That is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. And I've been buying a lot of mascaras lately. I don't know if I'm just getting more into natural lashes rather than false lashes. So that's why I chose this for this choice for June's box. But basically this mascara says it's an ultra dark, extra volume, velvet finish mascara. Supposedly this says you get triple the effects in one swipe with our Triple X Mascara. We'll see. I mean, I have never gotten good results with just one swipe of a mascara. Usually I just load that bad boy on, so I don't know. We'll see. But because this is the choice that I chose for June's BoxyCharm, I am excited about this one product. Let's go ahead and I'll show you the old products. So next product, oops, the BoxyCharm Hello Charmer eyeshadow palette. If I'm not mistaken, this is from March BoxyCharm box. <laughs> and in March's BoxyCharm box, I actually got the Hank and Henry. Yeah, I believe I got the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette. Um, I actually did not want this eyeshadow palette, so I really, really thought I dodged a bullet on that, but the bullet came back. But actually, as I'm seeing this in person, this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The actual pans in here are bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, and in here it looks like we have five different matte shades and then seven different shimmery metallic shades, which is a pretty good distribution of different shade ranges. And for me, there's only a few colors that are standing out to me because everyone knows I am a glitter and metallic girl. I just really, really wanna get my hands in here and swatch the glitter shades because I just have to. I'm a little disappointed in this box, so I'm trying to amp myself up. <laughs> okay, and I just went ahead and swatched four of the shades in this palette. This blue teal color is Charmer, and then we have this beautiful purple metallic shade. This is the shade Full Size, and then this pink here. Um, swiping, I thought it was gonna be more smooth, but this is more so a loose glitter. This is in the shade Swipe Up, and then the last one I just had to dig into, this golden shade here. This is the shade Lux, and I'm getting more optimistic about this palette now that I actually swatched them because these are so gorgeous. Um, Swipe Up had a lot of fallout and was a little gritty, but I'm sure I can make a lot of beautiful eyeshadow looks with this palette. But yeah, like I said, all in all, this palette is beautiful. It's just not something that I was lusting over. So, I mean, I will use it, yes, probably, but I'm not that thrilled. I don't know, guys, maybe I'm in a funk because these products are old. I don't know, I'm trying to get optimistic about it. Okay, next product, it's an eye cream. This is the QMS Intensive Eye Care Cream. And yes, getting into my later 20s, I say this a lot, I am getting more fine lines under my eyes, but I already have so many eye creams and wrinkle care. 
as sad as that is to say out loud. So again, this was not something I was lusting over, and this is actually super, super tiny, which for an eye cream, I mean, you don't need that much of it because you're only using a little bit under your eye. Doesn't really have a smell, just kind of smells like plain kind of lotion, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe I'll give this to my mother-in-law. I honestly don't even want to use this because I am loving the actual eye cream that I'm using now, um, which is also from a previous BoxyCharm. It's the Murad Under Eye Moisturizer. I am loving that, in case you were wondering. So divine. So yeah, I won't even touch this. I'm seeing my mother-in-law next weekend. We'll be giving this to her because I'm definitely not going to be using it. Okay, and product number three, we have the Cover FX Glitter Drops, Custom Enhancer Drops, if you will. Um, and this is in the shade Halo. And I mean, okay, I will admit I am super stoked about getting these because I love anything illuminating, highlighting, just, I, I'm into it. So you have, of course, your little dropper here, which it honestly looks like it has fingerprints on it. And I only did one little squeeze. Oh boy. I don't know, do you guys see that? Is that just my mind? I definitely see fingerprints on there. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore that for a little bit. I'm definitely going to be doing some research on that to see if anyone else has fingerprints on their droppers. I'm not sure if someone just had opened it to look at it and maybe just put it back in the actual packaging. I'm not sure. But if these are used, I'm definitely not going to be... What the... F okay, the dropper doesn't even work. Why? I mean, it does say shake before using it. Let me, sh let me give it a good old little shake. Let me just shake this bad boy up. You guys, <laughs> the dropper doesn't even pick up any product or dispense any product. What the? BoxyCharm, what are you doing? If I'm gonna use my little Nancy Drew detective skills, I'm probably going to use my best pessimistic judgment and say that someone else received this and got the same issue, put it back in the box and returned it to BoxyCharm. If they take returns, I'm honestly not sure, but what the heck? I mean, we're gonna go ahead and swatch it to show you guys what it looks like. So you don't get the satisfying effect of using that dropper, but in a very little bit went such a long way. I'm not going to be using them until I do more research because that's a little unsanitary boxy charm. If this was indeed used, I'm not gonna be putting that on my face. <laughs> okay, but last product. This is a liquid lipstick from Ola Neon, and this is in the shade The Easy Cell. Looks like this is going to be a dark shade. Definitely, okay, yep, yeah, definitely pretty for winter and fall. I probably will not be using this in the summer because for me personally, I love bright, vivid shades for summer. Um, it says this is a velvet liquid lipstick. I am going to go ahead and put it on just for little shits and giggles here. I'm just going to put some more on. I really like that it has a small applicator. I feel like you can get a little more precise with it. When it's actually on the lips, it looks lighter than it actually looks in the component. I thought it was going to be much darker than this, but this is more so like a burnt orange. Almost like a chili powder, if that makes sense. And it dries right away. I can already feel it drying. It does feel a little drying on the skin already. I should have moisturized and put chapstick on my lips before this or used some kind of exfoliator on my lips. It's definitely not going to be a liquid lipstick that I'm going to be reaching for. All in all, I'm not happy about this box and this is probably my first BoxyCharm box and I've been signed up since December. Um, this is definitely my first BoxyCharm box that I am just completely dissatisfied with. And I am not a negative person whatsoever. I try to stay as positive as I can. And yes, I am taking it in account that COVID is happening right now. We're in a pandemic. Shipping is awful right now. But the main thing, I want to know why my glitter effects drops already had fingerprints on them. And why the heck this dropper doesn't work? Have you guys gotten this in a previous box? Let me know if you have and let me know if your dropper works or like what the heck is going on. I'm just... All in all, not my favorite box, but I am curious to see what everyone else got in their June BoxyCharm box for this month. Let me know down below what you guys got and let me know what your favorite products were. Let me know what I was missing out on. Clearly, I didn't get anything good.
All right, sorry to be such a downer this month for you guys. I'm usually not like this with BoxyCharm boxes, but I'm just a smidgen disappointed. Sorry about that, but as always, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and just subscribe down below there. My channel is growing slowly but surely, thanks to all of your help. All right, guys, and as always, I'll see you next time.